Hi guys, I'm Andrew at Florida Outdoors RV Center in Stewart, one of the RV consultants, here to show you the uh, 2014 Coachman Murata 35 bunkhouse. It's a great looking coach. So first of all you'll notice a one piece windshield, huge windshield. You get a really good sight angle out of it, you can see everything in front of the coach. It's not a two piece, so it's a very nice design. Coming around the side here, you notice your side view cameras. Now these are going to come on each time you make a right turn or left turn on the other side. When you hit your turn signal, they'll come on on your monitor. Notice you've got your frameless tinted windows on this coach. This was an upgrade this year with Murata. They added a few things like frameless tinted windows. You've got your outside entertainment right here. So when you guys are hanging out outside, you can Put your awning out, which is above, an automatic awning. Push a button, the awning comes all the way out. You can relax here and watch TV. It's a really nice way to unwind at the end of the day. Notice your storage compartment here. Lots of space underneath, and it actually passes through all the way to the other side. So if you have folding chairs, fishing poles, that kind of stuff, you can easily store it in here. This is a DVD player for your outside TV, so you can even watch movies out here. <clears throat> this ladder is actually for a overhead bunk that's on the inside of the coach, so it's got its own storage space too. Moving down, we've got more storage compartments. <clears throat> Lots of room for all your stuff. And again, notice you've got your frameless tinted windows here. And also up top you have the slide on in toppers, which is a very nice option to have on your coach. This is gonna keep all the debris off of the top of your slide, so you don't have to get up there and constantly check to make sure there's stuff up there. So it comes with that. Moving down the line, we've got your propane tank. Nice big propane tank so you can be out dry camping for a while. You've got more storage in the back here. Notice you've got a full fiberglass molded cap on the back of this coach. It's the best design to have on the back of your coach. It's the most durable. Um, another thing to point, uh, point out actually, this coach uses a composite paneling in the sidewalls. So that means there's no plywood in the sidewalls of this. It uses something called Asdel. It's a material basically made out of recycled plastics. It can't rot, mold, or accept moisture of any kind. So that just means that you're going to really have a lot more longevity in a coach like this. And it also allows it to be certified green because there was no formaldehyde type insulation used to insulate this coach. And with things like the Asdel composite material in the walls. All helps to get that green rating. So back to the back, you notice you've got your walk-on ladder. It is a full walk-on roof. It's a fiberglass roof. That's another improvement this year with Murata. So it is a full fiberglass roof. You can get up there, walk around. If you need to get up there and clean it and stuff, you can easily do it. Notice your rear view camera up top, which is fully adjustable. So you can adjust it out to see further behind you if you'd like, or you can see your vehicle in tow if you're towing something. This is kind of a cool feature to point out. You've got your gas fill in the back of the coach as well. The nice thing about that is you don't have to worry about getting pulled up to either the right or left side at the fuel pump. All you do is pull forward and you can get to the gas here from either side. So it really saves the hassle at the gas station to having to drive around and wait on other people and stuff. Makes it a lot easier. Moving around to the side here, this is a 50 amp service coach. So of course you've got your 50 amp power cable and your receptacle for the plug right here. You've got a 5500 Onan generator in this. It's the most efficient, quietest generator you can have in your RV. And this is more than enough power to run everything in your coach. down the side you've got your entire 
tank and fill station here. Everything easy to get to, centrally located. You've got lighting in here as well, so if you're out here at night, you can see. And you can run all of your hoses and everything up through the bottom. So you can actually shut this compartment door once you have stuff hooked up, and it looks really clean and neat. This coach comes with a black tank flush, which is a very nice option. They've started doing that on some of the newer ones. So you do have that on this coach. Of course, all your water connections, a water filter for the drinking water inside the coach. So very nice, everything easy to get to there. Of course, we've got more storage as we go down the coach. And now you notice you can actually see all the way through to the other side. All your all your belongings in here for your long trips. Coming around to the other side, you'll notice your big. These are the the heated electric mirrors, so it makes it very easy to see down the side of the coach when you're driving. And of course, this is on the this is the Ford V10 chassis, so this is a 22,000 pound chassis, which means you're going to have a lot more stability and weight on the road with this coach than you would some of the competitors that are on. 20,000 or even 18,000 pound chassis. So that means you're going to have a much better ride with something heavy like this. And also this will tow a car up to 5,000 pounds and it's set up with the receiver and everything to do that right now. Notice you've got your LED marker lights up on the top. This is also an improvement this year with Murata. Using a lot more LEDs. And you've got nice bright halogen headlights. You can see very well at night with these. So that was the outside of the coach. Come on inside and let's take a look. Okay guys, here we are on the inside of the Coachman Murata 35 bunkhouse. Now this is a 2014 brand new coach. You can see on the dash here, you've got all your controls for the coach. Everything easy to reach including your backup camera which is easily in view and right now we're looking at one of the actually the side view cameras on the coach um, right above this you have your your stereo system obviously CD player in there all your controls including your generator start which is great because when you're sitting in the driver's seat you can fire up the generator from from a sitting position up here you don't have to go to the back of the coach or anything so you can do that right here there's also an auxiliary start. What that means is you can actually start your engine off of the coach batteries. So you're never going to end up stuck somewhere. You can always, the battery systems work together that way. You've also got your fog light control and your radio. What this means is that you can actually have your radio on without having your key on. So you don't have to, you know, have all your dash lights and everything on to run your radio, which is another nice feature. Of course, your air conditioning. <clears throat> You've got a 12 volt. Uh, hook up here if you want to charge a computer or anything that uses the, the cigarette lighter attachment. Moving over to the uh, to the other side of the dash here, you see you've got all your information panel here. Of course it has cruise control on the steering wheel. And over here you've got your your lights, power mirrors. So your mirrors on the outside are actually power and they're heated. So in a cold climate they're not going to fog up. It works really well. You've also got your button for your sunshade, and that's what's down in front of us here in front of the coach. So pretty self-explanatory. That'll keep the sun out of your eyes, and also privacy at night. You can bring it all the way down like it is now. Also by your sunshade control, you notice your automatic leveling, which is really nice. When you get to your destination, you basically will just turn this on and push auto level. And that's it. It'll automatically get itself level. You don't have to do anything else. And same thing when you go to leave. Just push retract all and you're ready to go. Notice you've got some nice storage up overhead here. Most people put, you know, travel itineraries, maps, that kind of thing up here. But really, you know, whatever you need to store up here, you do have plenty of room for it. Now this is actually an electric bunk bed up top here. So it's a double bed. It's bigger than most of the competitors with the little you know, twin beds up here. This is electric. You just push a button, it drops all the way down. 
and there's a net to keep you in the bed at night so nobody can roll out. When you're ready to leave, you just push the button, it goes right back up. So moving over to the living room here, you notice you've got another overhead storage area, which is great. You're always going to need lots of storage when you're RVing. And notice your window shades. These are on all the windows on the coach. You have both your day shades, which is down right now. Then you've got your night shades for privacy at night. Very nice setup. Notice your couch here. This is the best type of fold-out couch that they make right now. This isn't your typical height of bed with the regular pull-out mattress and a bar in it. This is actually called a tri-fold sofa. So what that means is you take these cushions off the back, you lift up on your couch here, pull it out. It's very easy to do. And while we're in here, you can see all your seat belts. This is a safety feature when you're driving, everybody's got a place to buckle up. So the last step is to put your cushions in the middle here. Now doesn't that seem more comfortable than the regular height of beds? Great design. And it goes back up just the same way. Put you back up. And then it just drops right into place. Very nice. Of course, you also have your all of your cup holders, which you're going to need. Keep your drinks from spilling when you're driving around out there. It is nice to have. Now, this is your dinette. Notice it's a big, oversized dinette. The table can be turned either direction. So if you've got some people sitting on either side, or you can actually get probably four people in there. This will also put down into a bed. Basically the table will sit right down onto these, these wood slats on the bottom, right here. Once that table's down there, you just put your cushion on top of the table. And there's another rectangle cushion that fits right in here. And that makes for another big double bed. So very nice. And notice your residential style light fixture on top. Just another way that they really just have added to the uh, attention to detail in these coaches, make them look really nice. Notice you've got a nice big flat panel LCD TV, or actually LED TV. This is a Hitachi. It's not a, an off-brand like you see in a lot of the competitors' motorhomes. Hitachi's a great manufacturer, so you have a nice TV there. So, notice you've got your kitchen here. Starting with your refrigerator. This is a residential refrigerator. It's a Whirlpool. So what that means is you've got more cubic space, more, more room for storage. It also means that this works off of an inverter. That's an inverter and a battery dedicated just to this refrigerator. Because it doesn't work off of propane at all. You've got a pantry here for your dry food storage. Notice how deep they are. You can fit a lot of stuff in there very big compartments. Now this is a really cool feature. You've got sort of a pull-out island here, more counter space available, and of course more storage. Dry food, cans of food, all that kind of stuff. Plenty of room for it here. Now you notice you have a full-size microwave here. It's not one of the mini ones that you can barely get stuff into. It's a nice big full-size microwave to do some of your cooking in. Now you've got your recessed three burner cooktop. So normally what you'd see with coaches, especially at this price point, is the cooktop up on top of the counter, which basically means that this part of the counter is useless unless you're cooking something on the cooktop. So very nice to have the recessed design. Notice it's a solid pour in counter. Makes for a very luxurious look. Now you can actually sit these, they've got a storage area right in the back here. So they've got a place to sit, 
they're out of the way and they're not going to fall out of there. It works really well. Now, of course, more overhead storage above, above your microwave. Some big cabinets here. So the theme here is lots of room to, to put your stuff, you know, I mean, you, you do have plenty of room in here. It makes, makes for a great design. Notice you've got your big high-rise faucet with a detachable sprayer. Makes it easy to do your pots and pans. It's a double-sided stainless steel sink. So very easy to keep clean. Probably one of the best things you could have in here. And again, recessed. The sink is recessed so that you've got a nice flat surface to work on when you're not using your sink. Notice we've got more more storage. <clears throat> nice big drawers. These are all on metal slide ball bearing drawers. So they move in and out real easy. And you can fit lots of stuff in there as well. You've got a nice big area under the sink. This would be perfect for a trash can, maybe cleaning supplies, that kind of stuff. So you do have an area for that as well. Very nice. And another little compartment here. This is important. A nice deep drawer to be able to fit some pots and pans in. So it is really nice to have this. If you're gonna do some cooking, then this would be really important to have. And of course you have your oven so you can do some cooking in here as well. So I'll move into the back of the coach. This is probably the coolest feature about this coach. You've actually got bunk beds in here. So you've got two bunk beds. They each have a TV with a DVD player in them so the kids can be hanging out back here. They're gonna be able to watch movies and and keep themselves entertained and have a good time. So each bunk has its own TV and they each have a window. So that really helps to feel nice and open. Um, they each have privacy curtains, one on the top, one in the bottom here. Now this is a multi-purpose bunkhouse. So what that means, when the kids are coming, great, they've got their bunks that can sit here. If the kids aren't gonna come, and maybe just the couple going out for the weekend, this bunk will actually fold up out of the way there's a little lock over on the side of the wall here and a pin will fit right into that and keep the bunk out of place. Then you've got this rack up above to use as a wardrobe closet. So you can actually hang your clothes in here and then you can shut your wardrobe doors. So if you are using it as a wardrobe, you have all your clothes in there hanging on the rack and it's out of sight. It's not, you know, easily in view. It's a very neat feature. Moving over here to the control panel basically for the coach. Notice you've got your water heater controls, water pump, uh, gas or electric for the water heater. This is your TV antenna, your slide controls, your generator. And these are all your tank levels. So that'll tell you, you know, if your uh, tanks are full or if your battery's full, that kind of thing. So everything easily located right in the middle, easy to get to. You've also got your AC thermostat here. Now that'll control the air conditioner and the furnace as well. So now this coach actually has a bath and a half. So we're going to show you the half bath right now. Notice you've got a nice porcelain toilet, which is easy to clean. It's a lot better to have than a plastic toilet. You've got nice storage in the bathroom. Nice big cabinet here. You've got your stainless steel, steel sink, more storage in the bottom. So lots of room. This is the bathroom that your guests would be using uh, when they come with you so that nobody would have to come back into the, into the bedroom of the coach basically. So now we're in the bedroom. Notice you've got tons of storage on the wall here. Again, this is a reoccurring theme with this coach. There's lots of storage here. Notice you've got your wardrobe closet on the side here. Places to hang up top. Another wardrobe closet on this side. So his and hers wardrobe. Lots of space for your clothes. Tons of storage inside here. 
probably put some uh, folded clothes and things in here. But you also do have your drawers on the bottom. Nice big deep drawers. And another one on the end here. So definitely plenty of places to put your clothing. You've got a nice big queen bed with nightstands on either side of the bed. And you've got power outlets on either side of the bed as well. It works great for if you want to charge your cell phone at night or lots of folks even use sleep apnea machines and that works well too. You can There's a place to put it and you can plug it in there and get a good night's sleep. You also have a drawer on this nightstand. This is a nice feature on this coach. Hopefully you can see in here, but this is a nice big storage area as well under the bed. And it's got the assist shocks on here, so it's very easy to, to lift the bed. It takes very little effort. So here we are in the main bathroom of the coach. Uh, this is in the rear of the coach, that's why it's so big. We've got tons of room back here. Huge linen storage. I mean, you can fit all your towels in here. There's lots of room. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six shelves. So tons of storage in here. Again, of course, it's a porcelain toilet. You've got more storage in your vanity. Lots of drawers here as well. Of course, you've got your towel rack holder. Another stainless steel sink. And storage underneath. So now I'm in the shower, and when's the last time you were in a motor home and had all this room in a shower? I mean, this shower is huge. It's very nice. Even a guy like me can move around in here, so it's great. You've got a detachable sprayer for the shower. It makes it very easy to use. Well, folks, that was the Murata 35 bunkhouse. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough as much as I did. I'd love to answer any questions for you or show you the coach in person. Just give me a call at 772-288-2221. And again, I'm Andrew at Florida Outdoors.